Montana's highest court has sent its ruling down, paving the way for St. George to officially become its own city. Fox 44's Deshaun Johnson has more on this decision. It's been an ongoing debate for years in the capital area, whether or not St. George should be incorporated into its own city. And today, that final decision was given the green light. They had hoped that we would get this process done. They voted in this election. I will proceed to have conversations to determine the best course of action. The Louisiana Supreme Court ruled in favor for the new city with a 4-3 to three vote. Andrew Murrell, who was a lawyer for the St. George Incorporators, says that this ruling made today was something efficient for the area. We are open for everyone. If you want more opportunity, you want a better life, you want a chance for lower crime, St. George. There were several concerns around the incorporation, with many stating that St. George wouldn't be able to support the necessary services. Mayor President Sharon Weston Broom discussed the recent changes and says that it's always been her goal to keep unity in the city. I will always believe that keeping this city united was the right thing to do. With this new ruling, St. George will now join the cities of Baker, Central, and Zachary as cities within East Baton Rouge. Merle says that the constant dealings with going to court were unnecessary, while Mayor Broom says that she'll continue to have further discussion on the process of turning St. George into a city. We can keep suing each other all day long, and that doesn't benefit anybody in this parish. The only recourse at this time uh, would be to ask for a rehearing in the matter. Despite the court's decision, both Merle and Mayor Broom will continue to advocate for unity amongst the city parish. We would like to do something different, so let's work together and we can move fast, move efficiently. I am committed to serving the residents of St. George just as I serve those of Baker Central and Zachary. Deshaun Johnson, Fox 44 News.